The two linebackers in this little scratch experiment are both programmed to move at a speed of 5. The race should be a tie every time, but it turns out the game is rigged. You want to avoid this mistake and make it into Scratch's big leagues. You need to punt this keyboard block back where it belongs. <laughs> Scratch has two kinds of blocks that detect whether you've pressed a key on the keyboard, but it turns out they aren't created equally. This hat block will instantly detect that you've pressed the right arrow key and make your sprite move 5 pixels to the right. But if you hold the key down, something strange happens. We press the keyboard key, and then nothing, until it finally moves again. This looks like a glitch, but actually Scratch is just acting the way most software acts when it detects a key press. Let's open up Google Docs and try holding down the letter A. The software puts a letter A on the screen, waits a little, then starts entering multiple A's. If it didn't add a delay, your typing would probably end up looking something like this. This built-in delay is actually pretty helpful in Scratch to avoid accidentally switching things on and off multiple times, but it's a buzzkill when you're coding games. A better alternative is to use this light blue sensing block to detect keyboard inputs. To make it work, you'll need to put the block inside an if statement, and then put the if statement into a forever loop. Now we're in an endless loop where Scratch is constantly testing to see if you press the space key. When I do press the key, my character moves and keeps on going until I let go of the key. No delay! And now you're moving like a pro. I feel the liftoff. The clock has started. Roger. 